When we first encounter Monogram, we are struck by its strangeness, this surreal assemblage of objects that don't look like they belong together at all. What we're looking at is a stuffed Angora goat, encased within a car tyre, standing on top of what looks like a wooden plinth, but on closer inspection is actually an abstract painting. Worked over the surface, particularly evident around the goat's face, are energetic drips of paint, as well as many other traces of everyday objects, such as this torn garment of a shirt, a tennis ball smeared in paint and a shoe heel, all incorporated into the work. The piece began as a painting, we can see that at the bottom, and as the story goes, Rauschenberg saw the goat in a shop window of a second-hand store close to his work. He was instantly besotted and bargained the owner down to a mere $15. He had worked with tyres before, evident in his seminal collaborative piece shown in the first room of the exhibition, Automobile Tyre Print from 1953, in which he directed composer John Cage as he drove over 20 sheets of paper out on the streets of Lower Manhattan. Once he had his goat, Rauschenberg assembled the different elements into the ambiguously titled monogram, and in doing so created a revolutionary new art form, the combine, something that blurs the boundaries between painting and sculpture, as well as creating one of the most important works of the 20th century.